Welcome back to Kali Linux Wireless Pen Testing. The final section of this particular course, Hacking Bluetooth Devices. In this particular section, we are going to learn about what is blue smacking. We're going to utilize what we learned in the section 4 of performing a denial of service. This one is particularly focused on only the Bluetooth devices, how we can get rid of it or make it unaccessible to the people who are requesting for it or maybe making it unavailable for the legitimate users followed by blue snarfing is a process how we are going to snarf a particular bluetooth device and then extract the data from the target and then we are going to learn about how to perform a blue jacking attack by sending all kind of junk data to the target finally we are going to check how to do a bugging which we call it in the bluetooth as blue bugging and then taking control over the target device. Let's go ahead and check what is blue smack. Blue smack is a Bluetooth attack that knocks out some Bluetooth enabled devices immediately. This is type of a denial of service attack that can be conducted using standard tools such as L2 ping. Before we begin with the Bluetooth attack, let us try and understand the Bluetooth protocol stack. The stack consists of four different layer one, which is STP, TCS, audio, and RFC COM, and then LMP, L2P cap, and then the voice, which connects to the baseband. What is this STP? STP is nothing but the service delivery protocol responsible for detecting different types of services provided by other Bluetooth enabled devices. Typically, it keeps track of the presence of the other Bluetooth enabled device within the operating range using this particular protocol. And then we have TCS, Telephony Control Protocol, typically uses L2P cap that you can see that the STP and TCS together are connected to L2P cap protocol and it is responsible for providing emulated serial ports to other devices. A Bluetooth enabled devices can simultaneously connect up to 60 or more than 60 Bluetooth enabled devices using the RFC, RFC COM. What is this RFC COM? It's nothing but the radio frequency communication protocol that typically utilizes the L2P cap. Okay, we keep talking about this L2P cap. What is this L2P cap? L2P cap stands for Logical Link Control and Adaption Protocol that provides the connectionless and connection oriented data services to the upper layers of the Bluetooth stack. We have all voice and audio. The voice and audio you already are aware of that is which provides an audio service and then which provides a voice service. This is pretty much about the Bluetooth protocol stack that we are going to explore for this particular course. Alright, blue smacking using L2P. Bluetooth DOS script. This is pretty much about a denial of service utilizing L2 ping hyphen S and then the data size that you want to send it to the target. All right, let's go ahead and explore how we can do this. Let us try and understand the different options that is available in the L2 ping cap. L2 ping. So it should be L2 ping hyphen H O L to ping hyphen hyphen help. Alright, L to P cap ping is what is called as. You have multiple options. One is hyphen I for the device and hyphen S for the size, hyphen C for the count and hyphen T for the timeout and then hyphen D for the delay and then followed by the MAC address of the Bluetooth device and then hyphen F to perform the flood ping and hyphen R to provide the reverse ping and hyphen V is to typically provide the verify request and response payload. Let us go ahead and explore L2 ping. Before that we need to know what are the Bluetooth devices that are accessible to us so that we can perform a denial of service on that. So we have to ensure that we have the Bluetooth device configured. We can see everything that is perfectly configured with the MAC address or this could be potentially a spoofed MAC address from the previous video as well and then the class and then it is called as CSR85 
10810 it doesn't matter you can always change the name of it now you can see the name of the Bluetooth would be hacker that's cool so let us go ahead and perform an HCI scan so that we know what are the devices that are nearby to our device the HCI tool is something commonly used when your Bluetooth adapter is connected and if you want to know what is going on when the HCI scan is performed you can always use HCI dump which is similar to Wireshark now you can see what's going on in the HCI dump you can see the different type of request that is being sent from the remote computer and then how the clock set is assigned and how the MAC addresses are fetched this is much like a Wireshark in a command prompt which is called as HCI dump alright let's get back to the basics let us try and target one of the targets so that we can bring it down alright I'm gonna choose OPPO F1 which is the very near target for us alright control L to screen clear the screen L to ping iPhone S and a bigger chunk of data and then the MAC address so that it can try constantly pinging with a data size of 100 okay this is just the ping request and it is responding normally that's not the motive of us our motive is to perform a denial of service let's say if we can print the sequence of 100 all right you can see the sequence of 100 is printed just by one command let's say if we can put sequence of 100 into the number of scans now you can see the number of scans is 100 so we're gonna write our own script to perform the denial of service we're gonna do a simple bash script it doesn't matter what is the variable do l to ping iphone s let's say 200 and then the mac address and then you're done when you're done you're gonna mention an input file which is number of scan and that's pretty much it to perform a denial of service on a bluetooth device now when the bluetooth device is trying to connect to the target or your bluetooth device trying to connect to the target until the response is given is going to keep on pinging that particular bluetooth device with a packet size of 100 let's say until the device goes down you're going to keep on hitting this trend now you can see there is a message showing as end failed which is connection reset and then you can also see a message coming in as host down that means the device bluetooth device is already restarted or the system has went down already it is that easy to perform a denial of service using l2 ping and then finally achieve the blue smack attack